It is week 13 of the Iceman Coach Mo Dynasty, and we are winding down towards the end of the season. Kind of hard to believe. But this week, we will be taking on Oregon State, the uh, Beavers. Uh, it is in Oregon. We'll be going to Eugene. Um, or no, sorry, Corvallis, uh, Oregon to take on the Beavers. So big matchup there, but first, let's look around the country, see what's going on. Gators are confident after an SEC victory over South Carolina. Florida wins their last SEC game of the year, winning 48-14. to Total dominance there in that game as the Gators get an important win. Uh, it means that they will finish ahead of the Gamecocks. I'm not sure what that'll do for the SEC East standings. Sooners notch another W, this time against Big 12 foe TCU. We watched this a little bit last week during the game. Oklahoma struggled. Uh, TCU led this game uh, going into the fourth quarter, as I recall. But Oklahoma, with a late fourth quarter touchdown, last minute, I think. Yeah, last minute, they get the uh, they get the five-point win. They remain undefeated. They stay number one. Two games left for them during the regular season. And true test, the SEC spotlight is on the LSU-South Carolina game this weekend. Tigers crawling, climbing, scraping back into the top 25. They're 6-4. and four. They'll take on South Carolina, so big SEC matchup there for both teams. Uh, Auburn's Thompson out seven weeks after a rivalry win over Georgia. Auburn beats Georgia, but they will lose their running back, Elliott Thompson. Tough loss for them, although he's not really put up, a, not really put up big numbers this year. Um, nevertheless, uh, loss there for Auburn even after the win. Sweet revenge. Fresno Sanders and his new team get the best of his old one. I guess Sanders, uh, well, Fresno beat his former team. Uh, can't hold ground. Is there a kink in Beaver Stadium's armor? Ohio State goes into Death Valley and follows uh, the path that Michigan laid, uh, beating Ohio or Penn State. They do it in overtime, winning 31-24 to over the Nittany Lions. Big win for Ohio State. And Penn State, who at one time, I believe was number one, uh, has now plummeted down to number 11. Out of nowhere, Brown and the Buffaloes continue to shock the college football world. It's about time that we got uh, some pub in the national news. Uh, we are at 10-0 and 0 now. I had to get to double-digit wins, I guess. Uh, games are getting a little tighter, though. Um, teams, I think, maybe are starting to figure us out a little bit. Uh, so uh, hopefully our talent can come through in these next two games. We take on Oregon State and Utah. Uh, Crimson Tide, get it done. Alabama takes care of business in overtime against Conference Pro Mississippi State. As Alabama moves to 5-5 five and five, uh, overall, Mississippi State falls to 5-5 five and five as well. So uh, tough loss there for Mississippi State, but Alabama, they're still a long way from where that program should be. But looking at the top 25 polls, number one is still Oklahoma after the win over TCU. They actually widened the gap a little bit. Um, Maybe it was because of how much we struggled at UCLA uh, winning, but we're still number two. Michigan is still number three after beating Indiana. Texas A&M holds at four. Texas holds at five after winning at Kansas, 44-14. Clemson beat Syracuse by the same score. They've moved up from seven to six. Arkansas slides up one as they were off. USC beat Stanford, so they move up to number eight. BYU and Miami also both move up. Uh, it's Penn State who fell from that number six spot down to number 11. Washington moves up one, number 12, after being off. Notre Dame beats Western Michigan 31-13. They're now number 13. Tennessee holds at number 14. Ohio State, who beat Penn State, is now number 15. Oregon holds at 16. They beat Utah. Nebraska, after beating West Virginia, is number 17. Florida, number 18, after the win over South Carolina. Iowa beats Maryland, so they go to number 19. It's Auburn at number 20 after beating Georgia, 24-21. South Carolina is 21. Memphis is number 22 after beating Iowa State. Cal is at 23. Navy, 24 after beating East Carolina. And LSU rounds out the top 25 there. And now we'll look real quick at the Heisman watch. Although, of course, it is Derek Romero still leading. Uh, Horner, the quarterback from Nebraska, trying to make some noise there. He had a decent day against West Virginia last week. Richard Jones, after 400 yards and two touchdowns, he falls a spot. Uh, then moving on to the board is William Cochran and Carlos Stewart. A couple of uh, Cochran is the running back from Michigan. Stewart, the running back from Mitsu. Uh, so that rounds out our Heisman watch. Let's talk about our opponent today. Uh, well, first of all, let's take check out recruiting. Again, I bailed on recruiting, but I, my, I think that it's I have all my. I'll show you this. I have all my recruiting assistants off, but when I came to it this week, everybody was at full 700. So the computer decided to max out all of my recruiting points on everybody for some reason. 
Um, so I ended up signing this Clint Shaw cornerback out of Texas. Um, probably should just remove the rest of these guys, but I'm going to leave them there. I don't, it's just, I don't know, it's kind of a thing. Um, looking to get at top classes, obviously adding a player means we hold the top spot. Um, I guess we, you know, we'll, we'll finish in the top 10, maybe top 5. As, uh, some of the teams are starting to sign more guys, um, but we're still there. So o Oregon State, uh, we match up a little better against them uh, than we did against UCLA. Our defense, uh, you know, their their defense is B minus, ours is B. So that's really kind of what I look at first defensively. Defensively, we really play very vanilla. Um, we just try to make teams execute, and so far it's kind of worked out for us. Uh, but Oregon State, uh, they're four and six. Uh, I guess we could look at their schedule. So the Oregon State schedule, they won their first two games against a couple FCS opponents. They fall to USC, then they beat Nevada. So they're three and one. Things are looking pretty good um, until they lose to Stanford. They recover with a win over Washington State to move to four and two, but they have lost four games in a row. Uh, Cal, Arizona, Washington, and Arizona State. So the, the Beavers are reeling right now. Uh, they're desperately looking for to make something happen. They would to get to a bowl game. They would have to beat number two Colorado, then go to number sixteen Oregon and win there. Uh, so it's a big task. Um, but you know what? This is it starts against us. So if they're going to make it happen, uh, it'll be in this game. Looking at their depth chart, one thing you'll notice about Oregon State, they have nobody over ninety, which <clears throat> that bodes well for us. Uh, Kyle Wilson is their quarterback. He is uh, kind of a dual threat guy. Uh, although I don't think he's got the best of arms. We'll look, yeah, 80 throw power, 86 accuracy. So, you know, not great. He's not going to terrify anybody. Um, so we'll look at the running backs, 85. They do have some quick running backs, 91, 94. Uh, but their overalls are not uh, that, that uh, whatever, eye-popping. Their fullback is a 69. Receivers are okay. They got a couple guys, uh, you know, decent. Uh, their top, their first two receivers are on a decent speed, not great. Uh, decent acceleration. Uh, it does start to kind of fall off after that, though, as you get to the third and fourth receivers. Tight end is a 73, so nothing, you know, scary there. Left tackle is a 75. Offensively, on their on their line, they're they're uh, they're strongest up the middle. Their left tackle is a 75, their left guard is an 81, their center is an 82, and their right guard is a 79. So up the middle is where they are the strongest. The right tackle, both tackles are 75s. So um, maybe we can get some pressure on the edge. Uh, defensive ends, 86. Both, uh, both starting ends are 86. Defensive tackles at 85. And then they have a defensive end having to play backup, uh, play the number two defensive tackle. So defensive line is solid, but not great. 87 outside linebacker. Middle linebacker, though, is a 78. Right outside linebacker is an 80. Um, cornerbacks, not that great. Uh, 79, 76, 76. So their cornerbacks are in the 70s. They do have, you know, a little respectable speed. Uh, free safety is an 81. Strong safety is a 73. So we do feel like we are, you know, talent-wise, we match up well, right? We were evenly, I guess. Uh, kicker is 73, punter is at 80. So kicking game, uh, yeah, I would call that a, whatever, a D plus maybe. Um, so UCLA uh, was, you know, they matched up well with us. Oregon State, not as well, but we are on the road. We're going to Corvallis, so it's probably going to be cold. I'm anticipating maybe some snow. Um, so it could be a, a uh, the, whatever, the elements might make this game, this road game a challenge. So let's go to the game. And here we see the team stats. Oregon obviously struggles. Offensively, they are uh, triple digits, 105th scoring uh, yards per game. They average giving up 380, ranks them at 94th. Defensively, is a little better. Total yards are actually 25th, but they give up a lot of points. I'm guessing that means that their offense puts their defense in some bad spots. Um, and of course, you know, our, we are ranked uh, on top five most categories. Um, yeah, obviously, defensively, we don't do great against the pass, but that's kind of just the nature of NCAA 14. Uh, Oregon State does have some prospects in town, including a four star wide receiver, Trenton Taylor. Um, three star wide receiver, Thomas Walker, will also be in town, as well as a three star defensive end, Cornelius Frederick. Uh, they're, or, they're top players. 
is a uh, number one is a wide receiver at 87. Their left outside linebacker is an 87, and their left end is an 86. Um, so their top players are mostly on defense, I guess. Uh, top players for us, of course, Hunt, Brown, and Herman. Uh, same as it's been all season. So let's go at no injuries on either side. So that means both teams are going to be healthy at full strength today as we go to Corvallis. And as I anticipated, it is snowing in Corvallis. That could affect our offense. Offense has struggled, uh, actually, the last few weeks. Uh, the Washington, Washington and Washington State games it was kind of masked a little bit with all the turnovers that the defense got for the offense. But last week, you really saw how we struggled um, to boot the ball. We ended up, you know, getting over 300 yards passing, but it was uh, thanks to, you know, that last drive where we, you know, Sam Purcell hit the big 27-yarder. So um, this will be a test for the offense for Colorado to see if they can move the ball, score some points. Meanwhile, Oregon State, uh, they're looking for a big scalp here. This could be... Uh, could kind of help to soften the blow of what the season has been for them. They're four and six. A win here um, would keep them alive for the Bulls, but it would also be something to kind of hang their hats on for the season. It would be a positive moment um, as the Beavers look back on 20, whatever this is, 25, uh, and they could see how they were able to beat the number two ranked team in the nation. So here we go at Reeser Stadium in Corvallis. So here comes Oregon State. Two tight ends, both lined up to the left. And the handoff, and he is gone. First play of the game for Oregon State. Or is he going to get caught? No, he's going to take it all the way to the end zone. Jamal Walker with a 75-yard touchdown run. The Beavers O-line open up the hole, and they are ready to play today. Oregon State, what a hole, but then a nice cutback. What a great cutback that was. To get away from the Colorado defense and fi and then he just it's a foot race and he just does make it. Oregon State takes the early lead. So after the Beaver score, we see Arizona State with the big upset, beating Washington. The Huskies fall uh, at home to the Sun Devils, uh, or Arizona State winning thirty-four to thirty-one. Big win there for Arizona State, Washington. Their season continues to kind of spiral downward. Also looking around the country, Mississippi State, Mike Leach, the upset over Arkansas. Uh, Indiana pulls a shocker against Ohio State. That'll knock Ohio State out of the Big Ten title game. And it's South Florida upsetting BYU. you got upsets all around the country right now. It's a smorgasbord of shockers. Second and six. Brown takes the snap. Looks. Fires complete. That That is Webb. Uh, picks up 14 yards. It'll be first and 10. Brown now from near midfield. About the 48. 48, 49. Brown to throw. He's in some trouble now. He gets away from one and throws an interception to the other side of the field. And oh, and uh, I think that was Webb saved what could have been a big return. Jamie Smith with the interception. Webb with the shoestring tackle to keep him from going the rest of the way. So four wide here for Oregon State and read option. Quarterback keeps and he is gone. Two run plays, two touchdowns for Oregon State. This was Kyle Wilson who pulls it in and houses it. And now Colorado finds themselves down by two touchdowns. Brown to throw. Oregon State drops a Brown, lets it rip, out of bounds. Fourth down, Colorado will have to punt. From the gun this time, and it's another read option. First down. Oregon State, Kyle Wilson gets 18 yards on that carry. 
Wilson this time from the shotgun. He brings a receiver in motion. He's going to give it to him. And another big gain. This is Ty Trevor Barrow for 11 yards. Wilson now is going to throw. Cross the middle. That's complete. And Jamal Walker gets 13 yards. Walker now from the shotgun. He's got a bunch to his right. He will throw. Moves around the pocket a little bit. Goes long. And that's complete. That's a first down inside the 10. Cortez Patterson. And Wilson hands it off up the middle. And Warren can't get to the end zone. So Colorado finally gets a stop. Oregon State will have to kick a field goal. And Michigan State hands Penn State a third loss. The Nittany Lions lose for the third time this year. That may be three in a row. Um, but whatever, Michigan State with a big win there. That is a uh, tough loss for Penn State. The wheels have just come off of their wagon for this year. First and 10 for the Buffaloes from their own 38. Brown throws it across the middle. That's complete. That's Freddie Herman for 15 yards. That will be a Buffalo first down. Colorado, maybe they're already in desperation mode, but they're going to go for this. Fourth down and two. And it's going to be a handoff. Hodge pushes a defender across the line. He would not be denied that first down. He picks up eight on the carry. From the Oregon State 32, Brown will take the snap. Looks to throw. Pocket holds. Oregon State only rushed three. He gets the pass away. It's complete. And who is that? Kenny Williams gets 11 yards. Good yards after the catch there by Williams. Second down and six for Brown and the Buffaloes. They need the 11. Brown rolls. Throws. Complete down to the two-yard line. That is Mike Smith. Second and goal. Brown hands it off. Hodge gets into the end zone this time from three yards out, and Colorado takes, or well, finally scores. This will put them down by 10 after the extra point. That is the end of the first quarter. Oregon State with 175 yards rushing in the first quarter. Colorado is going to have to stop the run if they would have a chance to come back and win this game. Third and 11. Wilson to throw. Pocket holds. He's going long to his left. Batted away incomplete. That is Wilson's first incompletion. It'll be fourth down. Finally a stop for the Buffalo defense. So first and 10 for Colorado. And Brown, quick screen to the left. Uh, breaks tackle and Venny is loose he picks up 20 yards on that catch on the little bubble screen it's third and goal from the three Brown brings a receiver in motion takes the snap throws it complete but Hodge can't get into the end zone that's going to make it fourth down what will the Buffaloes do Claus and Alexa take the field goal get the points don't want to waste this trip down into the red zone, and it's good. Wilson second and seven. Keeps it again. This time he's got some space on the left. He's got a first down and then some. He's into the secondary. He's finally brought down after a 35-yard run. Second and two. Wilson will keep again up the middle, and he has the first down. He gets 10 yards on that carry. Third and seven. Oregon State in tight here. Wilson to throw. Moves to his right. Pocket holds. Got a man. It's complete, and that will be a first down. That's B.J. Gray with the reception. First and goal for the, Be the Beavers. Wilson. Four wide, one back. 
Quick screen to the left. It's a bubble. It's complete, and he will trot into the end zone, and Oregon State goes back up by two scores. It's 23-10 to 10 with the extra point on the way. Second down and 10 for the Buffaloes. Brown takes the snap. He's in some trouble. Gets it away. That's complete, though, and it will be for a first down. Andrew Venny makes the 12-yard catch. Brown takes the snap. Throws to his left. It's complete. That is Mike Smith for 14 yards. That will be a first down for Colorado. Colorado from the 44. And they need to get into Oregon State territory. Throws out to the right. It's complete to Alston, but he only picks up four. That'll make it fourth down. Nilsson from the gun. He'll bring his tight end from left to right with his other two receivers over there. Drops the throw. Pocket holes across the middle. Man wide open. Complete. That is Carlos Sampson on the third down conversion. Wilson. They need midfield. They need the 50. And pass is complete, but Bennett will not get there. So Colorado, they've got 96 seconds here to try to get themselves back into this game before the half. Brown to throw. He throws it long to the right. That's complete. And after a broken tackle, Webb picks up 26 yards to get over the 50-yard line into Oregon State territory. Just running a simple square in route. Found a hole in the zone. Brown sees it, gets in the ball, and big play there for the Buffaloes. Second and 10 now. This is the 48, I believe. Brown to throw. Hoggett holds. Now he's in trouble. He lets it go. Got a man. That's complete down inside the 10. Inside the 5. That's Freddie Herman. Of course. The Buffalo's top receiver. Here he's ran his route. Then improvises and Brown gets in the ball. Big play. Now Colorado with a chance to score to cut it to 7. Second and goal for Colorado. Brown hands it off again. Alston this time gets into the end zone. Colorado now trails by eight with the extra point on the way. That is a big touchdown. If Colorado can hang on and get into the half, only down seven, as disastrous as the first quarter went. And Sampson, for some reason, Oregon State didn't take their time out. This is it. Pass is incomplete. That's the half. Poor clock management by the Beavers. And that saves the Buffaloes. Colorado will go into the half trailing only by seven now. That's after trailing at one point, 17 to nothing. The Buffaloes have tried to claw their way back in. Oregon State, obviously, the story is two touchdowns on their first two plays, two long touchdown runs. And offensively, the Beavers have been very effective. Meanwhile, Colorado has struggled. Uh, they do have, they have gotten to 17, though. So they are still in the game. A uh, game is close enough for them to obviously, you know, get get back into it and then steal this win. Uh, Oregon State, meanwhile, they need to keep that offensive production going. Um, might want to go back to the run more. They've really kind of gotten away from it as just explosively successful as it was in early, in the early goings. Uh, they're now starting to rely more on Wilson and Wilson's arm. As we look at the first half stats, you can see tell of you know two offenses. Oregon State, 241 yards on the ground. Colorado, 240 yards in the air. Uh, part of the difference is, though, that Oregon State has been able to balance it a little bit with a passing game. They do have 102 yards passing. Um, so they, Oregon State, they came out ready to play today. Colorado was flat, and now the Buffaloes have to try to overcome that bust butt, get back into this thing, and see if they can't get a win today in Corvallis. Brown to throw. Across the middle, that's complete. That is number 85, Vinny. 15-yard pickup. Makes up for that loss on the first play. Third down and two for the Buffaloes. Brown to throw. He's in some trouble, and he's sacked. He loses seven yards. It'll be fourth down. First and ten for the Duck or the Beavers here, leading by seven. Wilson to throw. 
Across the middle, complete, wide open, was Bill Bennett. He picks up 20 yards on that catch. Wilson fakes the handoff. He keeps, goes up the middle, big gain. That is a first down. He picks up 11 on the carry. So second and 13 for Wilson here. They're sniffing the end zone. Wilson throws into the end zone. He's got a man. That is a touchdown. Cortez Patterson gets behind the secondary, makes the catch, and Oregon State is back up by 14. So Colorado once again finds themselves down by two touchdowns. Brown leads the offense out. They've got a big task in front of them. They're going to come back and win this game. Brown goes long, and that pass is intercepted. And it looks like we're going to have a big return. Second interception of the game for Brown, and Oregon State now has all the momentum on their side is Jamie Smith with his second pick of the game. They need to stop going at him. He makes the interception, then shoves off the receiver. Gets a decent return. Wilson now with a chance to take absolute command of this game. Hand off to the receiver around the side. The reverse is going to be for a big gain. He picks up 20 on the carry. It's Trevor Barrow. Second and 14 here. Wilson with four receivers, three to his right. He's going to roll to his right. Looks, throws it, complete, and that'll be a first down. Big play there for the Beavers. Carlos Sampson. Here's a handoff again to Walker. Walker around the left. He's got some space. He's got a block, and he will get it down to the two. First and goal, Oregon State. Third and goal. Tight end from left to right. Wilson to throw. It's a screen. Complete. He's got some space. Does he have enough? He stopped just short, apparently. Oh, but he gets in on the second effort. I guess they thought they had him down, and they did not. Oh, it just feels so wrong. But Oregon State with the score, they're now going to go up three touchdowns on Colorado here. Let's kind of see what happened. Called the screen. Well set up. Yeah, right there. I mean, uh, for all practical purposes, he's down. So, first and 10 now from their own 25. Brown takes the snap. Pocket holes. He's going long. And it's intercepted. Another inter second interception in a row. That's his third of the game. Oregon State now is well in control of this game. B.J. Dawson, the strong safety, makes the pick. And the Beavers will take over with a chance to really kind of put the final nail in the coffin. Third and 11, Wilson to throw here. Across the middle, dropped. Oregon State will have to punt. Second and five now for Colorado. Wilson to throw, or Brown to throw to his right. That's complete on the little hitch. But Vinny turns it up 10 yards and gets the first down. First and 10, Brown. Takes the snap, looks to throw, going along to his left. Got a man, that's complete. That is Webb, or Smith, picks up 29 yards. Big first down now for Buffalo, or the Buffaloes as they try to, whatever, keep some glimmer of hope alive. Second and two. Brown hands it off up the middle. This is Alston. He'll have a nice gain. Ten yards. It will be a first down for the Buffaloes down near the 12-yard line. So Oregon State well in command of this game. They're up 38-17. to 17. The Buffaloes are driving, but they have a lot of work to do. And they had better get busy and get on their horse or this thing's going to get ugly. 
So Colorado is going to go for this. They probably feel like they have little choice. Uh, field goal doesn't do much for them in the grand scheme. Brown to throw. Across the middle. Complete. And that will be a touchdown. Reggie Ray, 12 yards out with the score. Gets Colorado to 23. Extra point will make it 24. They'll feel a little better about their chances after that drive. But now the defense has got to get a stop. Here with an empty backfield is Williams. And he's going to throw to his left. That's complete to the tight end. That's a first down. That's Justin Mosley for 13 yards from the gun here Wilson they need right at midfield about the 49 he's gonna throw swings it to the right it's incomplete Colorado with a huge stop there they'll get the ball back round to throw Across the middle. He's got a man. That's complete on the post route. Kenny Williams got in between the two, the second and third level. Defense makes the catch. Good throw by Brown. And a big first down. Gets Colorado across midfield. Second down and six. Brown. Little play action there. Throws it to the left to Alston, who gets away from a tackler. He'll get the first down. Nice couple little moves there. It'll be first and ten. Second down and ten. Brown, pump action. Looks, throws into the end zone. Got a man. That's a touchdown to Reggie Ray. And the Buffaloes are now within one score after the extra point. It's 38-30. to 30. Colorado trying to keep themselves alive here. Reggie Ray makes a nice move to get in behind the secondary for the score. Third and five. Empty backfield for Wilson. He's going to throw. Throws it long to the left. And it's caught. What a catch. That will be obviously an Oregon State first down. Trevor Barrow. And here goes Wilson. Colorado blitzes. And they left a man wide open in the middle. That's complete. And this could be the touchdown. It is Oregon State. B.J. Gray with a 42-yard catch. And the Beavers now lead by two scores. Colorado again finds themselves in desperation mode now. So Brown and the Colorado offense down by two scores now. He will drop the throw here, try and get Colorado back into the game. Pass is complete. That will be a first down. Sam Purcell, the hero from last week, picks up 11 yards on the catch. First and 10. Brown looks to the sideline. Takes the snap. Here comes the Oregon State defense. Brown's got a man in the seam. It's Mark Burks for a 24-yard catch. Burks with the nice play. That'll move the chains for Colorado. Brown again, empty backfield, takes the snap, throws it, and it's intercepted. Picked off by Oregon State, that is his fourth interception of the game, and that probably ends any chance the Buffaloes had of winning this one. Might just be trying to draw Colorado offside here. This is a big down if Colorado has any hope whatsoever. Pass is complete, and that will probably do it. And Wilson will keep. Gets a block. And Wilson up the sideline. Pushed out at about the 22. Look at that, Wilson. 207 yards on the ground today. And 
and then kneel out will end the game. And Oregon State, what a huge win for the Beavers. Meanwhile, Colorado, their hopes for a college football playoff will be dashed as they could not stop this Beaver offense today. Absolutely struggled from the first snap. Uh, first snap was a, I think, an 80-yard touchdown run. The second was a 75-yard touchdown run. And right away, the Buffaloes are looking at a two-score deficit. They were never able to get back into the game after that. Uh, at no point after the first play did Oregon State ever trail. And that is just not a situation Colorado's found themselves in often this year. They've not trailed much. And today they got behind. Uh, they gave it somewhat of a valiant effort, but the defense just never showed up today. Oregon State was able to do pretty much whatever they wanted. And the Beavers win going away 45-31. to 31. They keep their bowl hopes alive. Uh, but now they got to go down to Oregon. they got to go to their arch rifle, Oregon, uh, to get to 6-6. Six and six. Meanwhile, Colorado, they still have a chance at winning the Pac-12 championship. Probably not a national championship, but they've got a lot of things to fix before they play Utah next week. So looking at the uh, stats here, <laughs> just, I mean, Oregon State, 651 yards of offense, 371 yards on the ground, 280 in the air. Like, that's still really, really good when you get 371 on the ground. Uh, two rushing touchdowns, four passing touchdowns. Meanwhile, Colorado, not much on the ground, but we never do get much. Uh, still probably needed more than 36. Uh, meanwhile, 39 of 60 passing, 446 yards, two touchdowns, but the four interceptions. Between, you, know, you take away the interceptions, and they might still have a chance to win the game, uh, even as poorly as the defense played. Had the defense played better, and you might still be able to win the game with those turnovers. But the combination of the two made it simply impossible for Colorado to get the win today. Uh, Oregon State, hats off to them and their offense. We'll look real quick at the player stats, although there's not really much there to be proud of. Uh, Brown, uh, 65%, 446 yards. He racked up a lot of yards, but you know when you have four interceptions, the, the, those four picks probably negate like 200 of those passing yards. I'm just you know, whatever guessing on that. Um, got sacked three times, so that hurt. Rushing, Alston, 39 carries. Hodge had six carries, but only managed 12 yards. He did have a touchdown. He, uh, Alston added one as well. Uh, Freddie Herman, six catches, 93 yards. He was the leading receiver today. Uh, Mike Smith chipped in with 78. Um, Hodge out of the backfield only had 11. Benny with 57. Um, Ray Webb, he had three catches for 40. Um, Ray came off the bench to get a couple touchdowns. Uh, you look at drops, Smith had a drop, Ray had a drop, Williams had a drop, and I remember at least one or two of those were just bad. The drops were bad. You know, could have, you know, made, whatever, kind of flipped the momentum of a drive. Uh, defensively, um, not much to say about this. Evans did have 13 solo tackles, so good on him. Uh, and two TFLs to go with that. Uh, Carter, Scott also added a couple TFLs each. Uh, did have one sack by Carter. Um, of course, no interceptions, no fumbles forced, anything like that. Deflections, we did have a few of those. Stallings, Hill, each had one. Uh, just a sad performance by the Buffalo. So they've got to pick themselves up from here. They've got one game left. They play Utah before the Pac-12 championship game. Um, the Utah win, I don't think they need it, per se, to get to the Pac-12 championship game. But they need to play well. Colorado needs to play well next week to show, to, to get their confidence back before they head into the championship week. So this is Vault Force 1 signing off after the Buffalo's first loss of the season. Make sure you tune in to see if they can recover.